Hey, happy Monday, everybody. I am coming to you live, as we always do on Monday, to talk about new builds. So in the world of new builds, what's going on and kind of giving you some information about new builds. Now, discount wise, there's still discounts out there. Um, with Paysetter, there is some red tag pricing on some of their properties. So we just wrote up an offer on a townhouse with no condo fees that has red tag pricing. Red tag pricing in the world of Paysetter means the lowest of the low that they're going to go. Um, they've pretty much marked it down as possibly as much as they are willing to go. And there's some substantial discounts. I'm talking $70,000 off. Um, this is on a townhouse product. They have them in Leduc, which is where we wrote. There's in Spruce Grove. They have them in West and Southwest Edmonton. Uh, there's a big promo going on. And I believe... October 16, 17 is going to be when it like kind of officially you can, they're doing a huge promo and push for it. So if you want in on these great starter homes, it comes with full landscaping and the, the garage in the back, let me know. Today I'm going to talk to you about construction process. Um, so what's happening in from the time you build a house to when you get the keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Paysetter's construction process, they vary between builder to builder, but they're usually quite similar. So I thought I would just kind of share with you an overview. Um, so the overview, just show you this. So the first stage is staking. So this is like, we've already signed paperwork off. You've removed conditions, you've agreed on everything. You've gone to design queue already. Um, and actually, no, you haven't gone to design queue yet. So you've removed conditions. Then first stage is staking, is what they call stake stage. Um, so they are figuring out if you're doing built-in appliances, so you have to go to trail appliances right away to figure out what appliances you're getting in. Um, if there's an upgrade to stub wall to railing, because stub wall standard, stub wall, if for people who don't know what that is, it's drywall, um, obviously not to the wall, but half, half wall basically, that's included in all our standard product. And then if you want upgrade to railing, whether it be wood or metal or glass, that's an upgrade and that has to be put in at the stake stage and then tub or shower changes. So if there's any changes to the plans for the tub or shower, super important to know because they actually, I don't know if you know this, they put the showers and tubs into the house as they're framing. So it's pretty much framed in to the house. So they got to know all that stuff and get it in place. And barn doors apparently is part of this initial stage, probably because they have to order it is my guess. So the second stage for pay center is then the framing start. Um, the cabinet color style hardware and accessories all have to be figured out so prior to stage two you will um, be going into design queue which is our design center to figure all that stuff so if you guys are interested in upgrades and design stuff please comment below and let me know what you're looking for because i'm actually having a meeting this week and we're going to be talking and planning um, a video series on talking about all the fun shiny new things that you can do with new builds and the costs and all that kind of stuff so what you would want to do um, in a starter home versus a move up home versus a dream home or a, like a luxury home. Um, we're going to talk about all those types of things if you should upgrade or not. So in before stage two and right before stage one starts, you're going to be doing the design queue because you have to figure out all these upgrades beforehand. Um, you can see the framing start. This is what they're working on is the cabinet color, kitchen layout, addition of ceiling fan, doing a framing finish, um, and then they're doing all the like lighting and trims and baseboards. Now, don't keep in mind, these things change from time to time. This is what it is right now, but it could change. So whenever you sign paperwork, it'll be put in your paperwork as to generally what it is. If you're with a different builder, there's a whole bunch of different um, layouts. But framing is like the next big stage. Then they do electrical and they do all the mechanical walkthrough. Um, and then they do the drywall. So before the drywall goes up, you are able to kind of see what's happening. Um, and then after drywall and taping is happening, then they're doing the finishing. So that's the stage three we're talking about getting all the like the doors and the hardware and the casings and the trims and the paint and the ceilings done. Um, once they have the ceilings done, typically they have an idea of when your, your possession date is. That's how they figure that out. And then when it's all completed, then they're putting in appliances and window coverings. Now, basement development is actually what happens at this stage. So there's a lot of um, misconception for 
you know, if I do a basement with a builder, why is it so much more money? The trades are already there. Well, it's because the trades actually have to complete the first part of the house and they don't pour that floor for the basement until like close to the end. And they don't put the furnace in till close to the end because they heat the house with different means than the furnace. So that is why you end up having um, the basement costs more and because the basement happens at the end of everything. So then it also adds on more time has the trades come back into the property to do the basement. So if you are thinking about doing a basement, of course, it costs you more money. There's the convenience of um, having it done when you move in, but you do have to wait a little bit longer for the basement. Um, so throughout the processes, you're able to come through after the taping is done, you then get to, they put the paint and the, and the texture, then they have the kitchen cabinets that get installed and then things start to move really quickly afterwards. And then there's always that time period between everything being done till possession where they are doing quality check. They want to do all the quality controls. They want to make sure everything is just perfect before you come in the week before to look at it with your own eyes and find anything that you can find so they can fix it before you get the keys the week afterwards. So there is that time for them to do QC. It's really important for them to do that because they want to have all their checks and balances in place. Way easy for them to come and fix things up now before you live in the house and they have to arrange things. So I wanted to give you a very, this was a very quick overview of the construction process of from staking, putting stakes in the ground to digging the hole and excavating the hole, putting the forms in and then backfilling now, don't forget, before that backfilling happens, the city has to come out and give their stamp of approval. The city has to stamp things all along the way of the construction process. Um, once the backfill is in, then they can start the framing, then they can um, do the mechanical, then they can do the drywall, and et cetera, et cetera. And like I mentioned earlier, yes, the shower and the tub go in before they start framing or as they, uh, as they are framing. So if we're looking at a spec home, a spec home is a house that's half built. There's opportunities to change some things, but there's a lot of things we can't change, such as the tub and shower, because that has to be done before. I mean, anything can happen, but you have to pay more money. Um, and then also kitchen cabinets are ordered way before as well, because kitchen cabinets take forever to order also. And then changing layouts of that can affect the layout of the house. So. If any questions and you're watching this after me, I'm being live, comment down below. I'm happy to figure that stuff out with you. And we will have some design um, input and ideas and feedback. So if you have any design things that you want to know about, make sure you comment below. We'll talk about all about the pretty things and the trends that are happening next week. Talk to you guys later.